In a ship's engine room, water collects on the floor over time, called bilge water. It comes from different sources. For example, a ship's engine uses seawater to control its temperature as part of its cooling system. The equipment that helps with the water flow needs to be cleaned and maintained regularly. When that happens, seawater can spill on the floor and gather in the bilge well, which is a drain located at the lowest part of the engine room. But before reaching the well, the water can get contaminated with various types of waste oil that comes from things like leakages around the pipe connections or regular maintenance activities. The ship needs to dispose of this oily bilge water as part of the normal operation. And if that's not done carefully, it can lead to pollution. So, to help reduce this, ships are required to separate oil from bilge water before discharging it overboard. One way to do this is by allowing the oil to rise naturally to the surface, because oil tends to float on water. However, this process is very slow. The time it takes depends on how quickly oil droplets rise through the water, which is governed by Stokes' law. In this equation, V is the velocity at which a particle rises or falls in a liquid. That velocity is proportional to the square of its diameter. Or, to put it another way, if you combine small droplets into larger ones, it greatly increases the speed at which the oil rises to the surface. To help with this process, ships use a device called an oily water separator. In this system, bilge water is passed through a coalescer, which causes small oil droplets to merge into larger ones. The oil that collects on top is redirected to a waste oil storage tank, known as the sludge tank. The cleaned water is then discharged overboard. There's also another type of separator that extracts oil from water using another quirk of Stokes' law. As well as being proportional to the square of its diameter, the velocity v is also proportional to the acceleration of gravity, g. So if you can accelerate the oil by, for example, spinning it, you can separate two different kinds of liquid. To separate the oil and water, some ships use a centrifuge. When the liquid is spun, centrifugal force pushes the heavier water outward and allows the lighter oil to collect toward the center. This artificial acceleration can be hundreds of times greater than natural gravity, drastically speeding up the separation process. The oil collected in the center is then directed to the sludge tank and can only be discharged at a designated reception facility when the ship reaches port. <laughs>